Hi, Shanna Rowe Jackson here from Caution Our Step Play. And today I am doing a little bit of printmaking. I have been wanting to do this project for a while. If you watched my other video where I did printmaking for the first time on my channel anyways, it's like the first time I've done this kind of printmaking <laughs> since junior high, um, then you know that I actually think I had mentioned this particular sketch in that video and I decided to save it for fall time because obviously it's fall themed. And so I thought this would be a great relaxing exercise to do on a weekend and I was really feeling the fall vibes. I cannot believe that it is already November. This year has flown. It is so crazy to even think about. And fall is my favorite season, so I really wanted to do a variety of different projects this year. More crafty, I think. I'm feeling, I'm definitely feeling the craft vibes. Um, I did some acrylic pouring with my husband that was fall themed, and now I'm working on this. And it's just a fun way to be creative without having to take so much time to do a realism piece. I am working on a commission right now of a landscape for somebody and that's taking up a lot of time. So this was a great way to be creative and a low pressure kind of project for me in between working on my other projects. And it was my way of getting into the fall mood, even though I didn't have time to do a regular drawing. So I'm hoping that this will be kind of a nice relaxing video. There's going to be a lot of real time and slowed down clips in it for you. And I am just slowly working my way through carving this block. I think that this is, I think this linoleum is Blick brand, I believe. I will link everything in the description below. This is my first time using this one. I had bought this one separately from what I got for my original printmaking video and I really really enjoyed carving this one. As you can see it definitely carved quite easily for me and I'm still getting used to things. I am not used to this kind of printmaking but it's so satisfying. Carving linoleum is so satisfying. As I mentioned before when I was in college I had taken an Italio printmaking class and that was a lot different. We used a lot of, I mean, not completely, completely different, but it was definitely different than this. We actually used a lot of different tools, but this is much easier to do from home. I don't need a printing press. I don't have to have anything like acid to cut into any type of metal plates or any of that. And so this is my way of getting that taste of printmaking without going all out. Just something relaxing to do in between things. As you know, if you've watched my channel, I love trying a variety of different things. My true love probably is realism, but that takes a lot of time. And so I'm not able to do that on my channel as often as I would like. However, I'm hoping now that I have cut back on some of my hours at work, I will be able to do more of that on my channel. And because that's really, I mean, that's kind of where I started my channel is is doing realism and things like that. But it is fun to do some different projects in between and try new things. Life is an adventure <laughs> and I like to do a lot of art adventures and I like having you all come along and follow along with me and, you know, kind of giving you some insight into what I'm up to as I'm exploring different art media. And I, I hope that you all like it too. This one definitely is one of my favorites so far out of the ones I've done. This one and the one obviously of my husband and my dog are my favorite plates so far. But I did end up carving around the acorn a little bit further than I wanted to. I ended up making it smaller in the final and I wasn't so happy about that, but it still came out pretty good, I think. It's just so much fun. I don't know what's more satisfying, the carving process or the printing process, because it's really cool when you peel that paper back and you see what you've done, especially when it comes out successfully. You'll see the first few things that I do, they're not so successful. I'm still trying to get used to how much ink I put on it, and it's just, it's trial and error for me. I'm really kind of teaching myself the basics.
And I really, really love acorns lately. I think I've mentioned that in previous videos. I am into acorns lately. Ever since I did my colored pencil piece that is a false still life and I had drawn the acorns for the first time, I don't know, acorns are my jam right now. But I had actually sketched this out back in like 2017. So I think that I actually had sketched this from the same reference photos that I took to do my realistic colored pencil drawing. So it's, it's related to that drawing. So what is your favorite fall themed item? Obviously I've mentioned that I love acorns, but I think pumpkins, oh, I really, really love pumpkins. I love drawing them. I love have, decorating my house with them. We have pumpkins all over the place, whether it be real or fake. And we actually grew pumpkins this year. Well, we grew one pumpkin this year and we are so proud of it. It's lopsided and part of it didn't want to ripen in time, but it can't, it grew pretty big and we're very proud of it because our chickens kept trying to get into our garden and they dug up the pumpkins a couple times. And so this one really was a fighter. It even had been pecked quite a bit and it still persevered. And so we're super proud of our pumpkin. But pumpkins are one of my favorite fall themed things. And so what is, what's yours? Let me know in the comment section below. I just am really, I don't want to let go of these fall vibes. I'm so sad that winter's around the corner. Pretty soon we will be coming out of pumpkin spice season and going into the mint and eggnog season. Okay, so I'm not disappointed about the eggnog part. I love eggnog. But before we know it, it's going to be all Christmas carols and snow and I'm just really loving the warm colors of fall and I don't want to let it go. It goes by so fast. So let's keep the fall vibes going in the comment section and talk about what your favorite thing about fall is. And if you like to decorate, I live in an area, I live in Maine. And so New England is so beautiful for fall. And I feel very fortunate that I have all four seasons here because I'm able to be inspired by all four seasons. And so I just feel very fortunate that I'm able to enjoy the beautiful colors and it's just my favorite season. So as you can see, I am trying to get some like really recessed areas around the bottom leaves. I'm trying to kind of put in shadows, even though they're going to be white, they're not really going to be shadows, but I'm just experimenting here. Now I am finally going to get ready to do some inking. And obviously this is not a tutorial. I am learning as I go and I'm taking you along for the ride. Just kind of want this to be a nice, fun, relaxing video where I kind of chat and hang out with you for a while. I had to take last week off because my sister Stacy was up from Florida and she brought her best friend who might as well be part of the family now. This is our first time meeting her best friend in person, but we've done a lot of chatting through video with her. And it was an amazing weekend. She only came up for the weekend, but it was amazing. And we got to do some fall festivities and we even got to do some Christmas crafting on Halloween, which was very strange, I know. But Halloween was just about over, so we didn't want to do fall crafting because we knew we were going to get ready to decorate for Christmas soon. So... We dressed up in pajamas and my sister Sonia set up a nice crafting thing. It was amazing. And we got to take my niece out trick-or-treating. It was a fantastic visit and it was it was just what I needed, really. It was so therapeutic to have some sister time and family time because we haven't been able to have a lot of that in the past couple of years. And it's hard when somebody that you are close with lives out of state. So it was amazing. However, that also meant that I didn't get the chance to put a video out which is fine. It was worth it. But that's why I was absent last weekend. And I had actually done this the day before my sister came up. I had made these prints, but I didn't obviously have the chance to post the video. So now I'm just kind of going through with that nice warm orangey color. And I experimented a lot with what I was doing. There's a few times that I tried to put gold in there. You'll see me come in with a paintbrush. It doesn't end up working out. <laughs> and I think for this one, I believe it's this one, that I might have had too much ink. 
and you know I'm just I'm getting used to things usually the first few are kind of like proofs anyway I don't usually put do my first few at least what I learned in printmaking class we usually try it on like cheaper paper first just to see if the like if the print is gonna even remotely work the way we wanted it to this time I had only cut a certain amount of pieces of paper <laughs> and I really should have probably cut more but yeah that one was a little too much ink so I lost some of the detail and you can kind of see it was a little bit blobby and then this is where I'm coming in and trying to put gold there and then I'm like Mm, I can't even really tell it's there. It's mixing with the ink that's already on there because there was still quite a bit of ink on the plate. I really wanted to have a golden acorn though. But the good thing about this is I can print off it indefinitely. So if I want to come back maybe next fall or maybe by the end of the season, I don't know that I'll do more printmaking by the end of the season. But if I want to come back and print again and do a different color scheme, I can do that. And I'm using my cutting mat as a way to, like, keep things lined up. I'm using the lines on them. Although, there is at least one that gets a little skewed because it moves a little bit. The plate itself is a 4x6. And then I cut my paper to 5x7. So that way there I have a border. And then, so I just lined my plate up with the lines on my cutting mat. And then I knew where to line up my paper. And that one, I just tried to use what little ink I had left. It does kind of have a golden acorn, but there wasn't enough. I mean, there was still ink there, but not quite enough to make a full print. So now I'm gonna mix in some other colors because I wanted to get some green in there. And I basically just mixed a little bit of my blue ink with yellow to get that. Cause I don't have green ink yet. And I do end up liking these ones better. I like the green. I'm just lining things up. And I know that there are easier ways to, to keep your plate from moving. I know that people who do printmaking, they've got all these tricks and things figured out so that they can line their paper up and they can actually do multiple layers on one print by lining things up correctly. I'm not at that point yet. Eventually, I will keep experimenting and I'll get there, but I'm not that brave yet. <laughs> I want to get used to regular printing before I start really getting wild with it. <laughs> that one came out a lot better. So now I'm like, okay, this is exciting. This plate's going to work. I'm going to keep going. So some of the paper that I'm using... I actually have, I think it's Strathmore printmaking paper, but then I'm also using the Strathmore watercolor greeting cards. So a couple of these are cards and a couple of them are just on paper. And I think I used the paper up first and then I did the cards. So in that way, I kind of did make sure that I had proofs first. I was using my flat paper because I didn't want to waste the greeting cards on it. And then I had to kind of come through. Some of my lines got a little gunked up with ink. So I came through with a mechanical pencil. <laughs> <laughs> and dug those lines out. That's probably not the professional way to do this. I don't know. I'm just doing what I can. But it is so fun to just kind of watch the magic happen. And I sat there. I had my tea. I was watching Halloween things in the background on Netflix. Or I might have been watching Charmed. <laughs> I never watched that show when it was on. But I've been getting into it lately. I've been watching it on one of my streaming services. It's kind of corny, like really corny, but I like it. I like the witchy aspect and it's perfect for spooky season. So even though it wasn't inherently Halloween themed. I'm just smoothing it out. At least I have the, the right tool for that this time. On my first video, I was using a big thing of paint to smooth out my paper. Because I hadn't gotten it yet. And I like this one a lot too. I'm liking the addition of green a lot. So I kept most of this relatively real time. Just so you could really get an idea of what I was doing. This was a quick process. It's much quicker than my drawings. So 
I have to speed up my drawings and paintings a lot of times because I just don't, I can't put a video up that's hours and hours and hours. But with this, I was able to kind of keep it nice and relaxed in real time for the most part. I'm going to try to find ways that I can slow down on my videos though. When I do a painting, I try to show like the whole process start to finish. And because of that, I end up having to have it sped up. So I do want to experiment with different camera angles and different filming techniques down the line. Now that I'm going to have a little bit more time to put into my channel. I mean, not much. It's like one more day worth of time a week. But I'm hoping it'll help out a lot. There's going to be some changes coming. Hopefully for the better. I don't know if you can hear it, but my cat is going crazy in the background. He's knocking things over. He's howling. I think he's excited that I'm home. But he's really trying to get my attention. He tipped over his water dish. And I had to go clean that up in the middle of my voiceover. Silly animals. This one is my favorite. I really, really like this one a lot. I just love like the way the green is and it fades into that orange. I don't know. That one was so much fun. Here I am again attempting to do gold. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I really liked it when I did the one of my husband and my chihuahua and the gold and the black had kind of mixed together. That was my favorite set from my other video. So I really wanted to incorporate gold somehow and it just, I don't know, I was just like, I'm going to try to go around this and I didn't, it didn't end up working. <laughs> it was not meant to be gold. It just was not meant to be gold because it was at this point that I'm like, you know what? I don't care. I'm just going to go over the whole thing. <laughs> so... There might actually be a little bit of metallic look mixed in with the ink since I did it that way, but it just, yeah. This one has a little more green, I think, than the others. I really liked this one, too. This is ends up also being one of my favorites. I can't remember. I'm, it might have already shown the one that was, like, really skewed, or it could be this one. I don't know. I'll have to maybe just cut the border and see if I can make it so it doesn't look as skewed. That's one thing that I liked about having a larger border is that, you know, I might be able to cut it down and make it doable. Have you ever tried printmaking? Let me know in the comments below. This is just something that's so vastly different from what I do with my other mediums. And so it really is like a reset button for me. It's just such a nice, relaxing way to get creative. Yeah, there we go. That one has a lot more green. That one's a lot of fun. And I like the fact that there's a little bit of it on the acorn itself, too. So here we go. These are my favorite ones. As you can see, they're the ones that start to have the green in them. So much fun. And I got those little acorns that are off to the side. I got those at the Dollar Tree. How fun are those for, like, table decor? So much fun. But yeah, so that's it. Happy fall. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Bye.